Hi, Tori Winsky and Melody Laramore here to teach you about engaging students with Nearpod. Nearpod is an online tool that helps educators make any lesson interactive, whether in the classroom or virtual. The concept is simple. A teacher can create interactive presentations that can contain quizzes, polls, videos, collaboration boards, and more. Nearpod is a great way for students to actively participate in a lesson, collaborate with each other, have a voice in each lesson, and a great tool to use for formative assessment. To access Nearpod, you'll want to sign into your Teacher Clever account. Find the Nearpod icon. I like to heart it so that it's always at the top of my page. Click on the icon and get ready to explore. On this screen, you'll see your library. This is where all the lessons you have created, uploaded, or added from the Nearpod library are located. For now, we're going to click on Nearpod, Nearpod's lesson library. This is where I can search for lessons that I may want to use to teach my students. As you can see, you can filter lessons based on subject, grade, and even strand. I'm just going to type a subject in the search bar. For now, I'm just going to search for fractions. To narrow my search, I'm going to click the grade level that I teach. Here you'll see all the resources available to you in Nearpods libraries at the grade level you teach. Once you find one you like, you can click on it to preview it. Clicking through the preview button allows you to view the whole lesson. As you can see in this Nearpod lesson, there's polls, videos, quizzes, and many other features. Once you are satisfied with the Nearpod, you can click Add to My Library. Clicking Show in My Library will take you back to your Nearpod library. Once the lesson is in my library, I am able to assign it. I have two choices, live participation or student paste. Clicking on live participation will generate a code. Students are able to type in the code on their iPads to join the lesson. You can also create a link to the lesson and upload the link to Seesaw for them to click on. By clicking this S in the right hand corner, it'll show you the student view. So if you have students who have questions or you're not sure what they're seeing on their end, when you click the S, it'll show you exactly what they see. Once you click the S, they'll, then a T will appear. Clicking the T will allow you to go back to teacher view. As you can see, the first slide is gonna be the student list. This is where you'll see when all of your students are logged into the Nearpod so you know when to begin your lesson. After starting the lesson, the teacher is able to see everything that the students do. For example, you'll see this question up here at the top and they have to answer A or B. The student's name will appear and you'll get to see what answer choice they chose. You can see there's a video in this lesson. And one of the cool things about the videos is you can choose to play it on your device only. This would be for if you're teaching it with your smart board or all devices so the students can see it on their iPads, this would be more of for virtual learning. You can see more questions. There's also interactive simulations incorporated where the students are able to manipulate their screen. So on this one, they would match the picture with the fraction name. You can see on this one, they would change the picture to show one sixth by drawing on the image. There are many features incorporated in this Nearpod. So now we're gonna go back and look at the student pace lessons. I'm gonna click in session, go back to your library, pick the activity and choose the student paced option. This option allows the students to complete the lesson on their own time at their own pace. These lessons can be assigned for independent work or asynchronously. Again, this will give the students a code to join, or you can upload a link for them to use to get on in Seesaw. 
In this mode, you will have the option to choose a due date that you want the assignment turned in by. So that's just another way you can assign the Nearpod to students. Nearpod also provides reports for the teacher to view and see how the students did on each activity they completed. For now, I'm gonna click on this activity that my students completed. Once you hover over the activity, you click the three dots and you'll see all these options. You're gonna click reports. I'm gonna click on the activity again, the session date, and it'll tell you the name of it and student participation. You can also see up here, you're, you will be able to download it as a PDF if you'd like. I'm gonna click the actual activity, which was the time to climb right here. I'm gonna click it again. And then I'm gonna click class board. Class board is gonna show me the students overall data, the questions overall data. I can also select individual questions to see how each student did on each question. You can see it tells you their name and how they did. So it's just another great tool for data. This is a basic introduction in Nearpod. We hope you have some time to explore and see how engaging it truly is.